there was a little girl in an art class, and the teacher came around and said, what are you drawing? And the little girl said, I'm drawing a picture of God, and I'm almost finished. And the teacher, being a narrow-minded uh, adult, said, well, you know, nobody knows what God looks like. And the little girl said, well, they will in a few minutes. My name is Liz Whitney Quizgard. I'm a New York artist, and I'm particularly honored to be showing at 108 Contemporary. In my youthful truth-seeking days, I wrote reams of justification for my work. Now that the work has matured, and I simultaneously <coughs> put less and less value on truth, whatever that is, words have become irrelevant. So when called upon to explain what I do, I'm inclined to say, what you see is what you get. Couched in this flippant response is a firm conviction that the visual arts are exactly that, visual no meanings, no preachments, no symbols, politics, philosophy, the human condition, the environment, and other causes about which people paint, perform, and sculpt these days are subjects for discourse best expressed with words. Attempts to transform them into pictorial images tend to become mere illustration, most often jejun. Jejun is my favorite word. My goal is to surprise and engage the mind by seducing the eye. Toward that end, I rely on pattern. The term decorative has become applied to my work most often in a negative sense. But that's okay with me, for some of the most important art is essentially decorative. Islamic rugs, Greek column capitals, Navajo textiles, Byzantine mosaics, Baroque architectural embellishments, and so forth. We all understand a row of triangles, a, a strip of squares, an arrangement of circles, and swirls. No need to ask their meaning. They simply are what they are. They speak to us as universally and without apology. I feel that I've been very fortunate but I've had to work extremely hard for uh, a lifetime. And I'm at a point in life where time is of the essence because later this month, I will be 90 years old. Now, I've always been a painter and sculptor. And for the last 15 years, I've been exclusively yarn on buckram on the back wall in the large gallery is a group called Scrambles. They're oddly shaped pieces, large, small, medium. Now, the, the total group of Scrambles that I have done, many of which are uh, now in various museum collections, consisted of about 200 square feet. And at one point, the entire group was in a, a single show in this show is approximately 80 square feet, although I sort of lost count as I was getting them ready and, and uh, uh, packing them. But you can see that that's a small quantity compared to the, <clears throat> the number that I've done. Uh, and there's no, no set format. It can go vertical. It can go horizontal. It can stretch out. 40 feet and be only three feet high. 
Now, that also applies to one that I call hundreds of circles. Rather than using irregular shapes, uh, my tendency is always to go for geometry. And the circle is my favorite geometric form because I think it's the most perfect form. There's no beginning and no end. Now, more recently, adding bling to the mixture. But to me, (coughs) the bling gives uh, a daringly gaudy, uh, kitsch kind of uh, quality to the work, as if it's not being taken very seriously. But I take seriously not taking seriously. Thanks for listening to that.